What else? And with all deceivableness. Yeah, that's deception, brother. Right. Of, a right, of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. truth. That's it. You see, when they lack truth, they'll believe a lie. They don't want the knowledge of the truth. They don't love it. Read that last portion there. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. That's it. They have refused the love of the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. They just want to be, they just want to feel good. Let, let, me, let me feel this anointing. I want the anointing because I feel a high. Don't you dare insult the Holy Ghost like that. He is not here to give you a high. He is here to bring you to the cross of Jesus in brokenness and repentance. We are not seeking a high. We are seeking Jesus. Not some high feeling. All right. What else does, does it say? Reread that verse. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Now, this is what's going to happen in the future in the last days. I have news for you. Some of it is happening already. Let's understand that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is precious and priceless. It is not cheap. It is not to be displayed with foolishness. It is actually possible to be a Christian and practice the demonic. Oh, I'm going to show it to you from the Word of God. It is possible, David, to experience the real anointing of the Holy Spirit one month and the demonic 30 days later. And it'll look just the same. It'll sound just the same. Oh, I got your attention now. I'm going to prove to you from the Word of God that there are people who can belong to two camps at the same time. Yet God forbids it. How many are as sick of it as I am? Put your hands up high. Don't allow mixture. And then it says this, Thou shalt not, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Mixed garment means a mixed lifestyle. Garments symbolize, speaks of lifestyles. He said, you'll, you, you'll not mingle garments, don't mingle uh, lifestyles. You, 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 some people allow what is scriptural to mingle with the worldly. The world and the Bible have nothing in common. Let me, let me show you a mixture, a mixture in the Bible that's actually possible and it's happening today. Turn, turn to 1 Samuel chapter 6, uh, sorry, chapter 10, verse 6 and 10. Here Saul, a, a, a perfect example of a man who one day can prophesy under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and, and the next day can prophesy under a demonic influence. This is in the Bible. The gifts of the Spirit can be, can be copied by devils. Turn to James chapter 3, just be before I close here. Turn to James 3, verse 13, 14, 15. The Bible says something amazing. Now, would you allow me 10 more minutes? Would you allow me 10 more minutes? Yeah. Here's, here's, here's the process that, that happens. The minute people lack truth, they get into the emotional realm. And the emotional is the door to the demonic. 
Listen to me carefully. In James chapter 3, we read that the emotional leads to the demonic. So where? I'll show it to you. James chapter 3, verse 13, 14, 15. Mr. Brock, please. Who is a wise man? And a dude with knowledge, knowledge the among truth, you. The truth, the truth. Keep going. Let him show out of a good conversation his works, meaning a good life, with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and what? Stop, strife. Stop, stop. If you have bitter envying, meaning your emotions take over. Right. See, the first verse says, make sure there's truth in your life. The second verse says what? But if you have bitter env envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. Ah, lie not against the truth. Don't think your emotional state is declaring the truth of God's word. Keep going. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly and sensual and devilish. Thank you. Meaning it leads to the demonic. Right. Did you see that in the Bible? He said, this wisdom, this emotional state, when people become taken by their emotions because they lack truth, it leads into things that are devilish. The reason people lack truth, just like with, with Israel in Exodus 32, verse 1 through 10, they lose sight of God and they place their eyes on men. Look what happens as a result. As a result, three things happen in, in, in people's lives. Number one, they sat down to eat, to drink, and rose up to play. That's what they do first. They play. Brother, if your eye is not on Jesus, then you're just playing a game. Number two, and the people and the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down. For thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. After play, they move into corruption. And then what? They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed. They worship the devil. Exactly. That's the order, my friend. When people leave God, first it becomes a game. Two, the Bible says corruptness sets in. And three, they start worshiping demons. That's what happened to them. Because they said, they said, where is this man who brought us out? Their eyes were off God and on Moses. The result was they began to play. They ate, drank, and rose up to play. And God says they're corrupt, and now they've made gods and worship them. Now, I'm giving you the order. You see, my brother and sister, listen carefully to me. I beg of you. People move from play to the soulish, to the demonic. That's the order. They go from the play stage. Let's have a game. This is all a game. Let's play church. To the soulish realm, which is corruptness. All emotional. And finally, they worship devils. Remember what we just read in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. It says, lying signs and wonders. Because they know not the truth nor love it. They go for this nonsense. But John 8.32 clearly states, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's it.